a little wet because they've tried to use some starting fluid, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and get out the trusty cylinder leakage tester and I'll show you all how to uh, set this up. You can buy these uh, pretty on anywhere. You can get them at an auto store. I think Harbor Freight sells one. Uh, this one just happens to be from uh, Kohler Engine. It's old, but it still works. Go ahead and get your test uh, hose screwed in. As you can tell, it's got an O-ring here and an O-ring. This is 14 millimeter threads, and this is, what, 16 or 18? I can't remember what size spark plugs the bigger size is. But go ahead and just th thread this in. And you don't have to over tighten it just thread it until it butts up against the o-ring and just give it a little twist like that and that's plenty what you want to do when you hook your uh your tester up to shop air it can be at any psi 150 whatever and what you want to do you want to unlock your regulator and you want to turn this clockwise until this goes all the way to set we're not worried about this gauge right now. Actually, this gauge doesn't do anything. It just shows you what your shop air is. So just keep turning until it gets to set all the way to zero, anywhere in that yellow. See if you go a little bit too, pat too far past, you can turn it back the other way. And I like to get it as close to zero as possible. All right, so now what we're going to do is plug this into your hose that you have in your spark plug hole. And you're going to listen for air coming out. Pop the air filter off. And you can hear, I'm going to spin this motor over. So we have an abundance of air coming through the carburetor. So when I'm turning this engine over, that's telling me that the intake valve is not closed. Make sure the cylinder is in good, uh, you know, health. No blown head gaskets or no burn valves from it being too hot. I went ahead and did a leak down test, and I want to quickly show you how to perform that test. Get your leak down tester and just back it all the way off and we're going to hook it up to shop air. And what you want to do is you want to turn the regulator in until this gauge reach, reaches the set or zero. I just would like to just set it on zero. We're not too much worried about this gauge over here. So just at zero and then pop it in place keep it from moving next we want to put the test hose and screw it down into the cylinder where the spark plug goes and just hook it up go ahead and plug the hose into your gauge and it immediately goes to 100 percent leakage so if i could zoom you in here and what i'm going to do I'm going to take a, uh, a wrench on the crankshaft and literally turn the engine over. To top dead center. And as you can tell, with the piston at top dead center, we're at near zero leakage. And when you get done, just Back your gauge off. 
You don't want to leave pressure on your regulator. This lawnmower is under warranty. Um, did a leak down test on it. It's uh, got, you know, less than 10%, but uh, just ain't got no compression. I'm going to let you look at this. And I just can't quite put my finger on what's going on. Look at there. Neither one of the valves are even trying to open. Got a bad camshaft. <laughs> 